Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great... When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Butterbean's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Scored well up top. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Wow, what an uppercut. Butterbean's once again the target of a hook. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Good step back counter punch there. There's that hook to the body. Butterbean's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, and gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. and something you got to start early and stay with. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. So here we are at the end of the round. And this is the only chance these guys get to not throw at each other. Yeah, this is a break. You know, a lot of times fighters find their own way of taking break during the fight, during the round. These guys really need this minute rest. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. You see what happens when he... That uppercut absolutely rocked up. Well, like, big, big shot he just scored with. And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. able to get up. Teddy, I question though if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. And he just holds on there. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. And yet another big shot comes in. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five. Six. It's over. The fight is over. The beast is power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Butterbean's evening ends early. A knockout victim here. He was just not able to get back up. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore.